end of 2013, I found out that I had a meningioma, which is a tumor on the lining of my brain. Um, found out from an MRI that I had. I had issues, honestly, for about three years and went through about eight doctors just trying to figure out why I felt the way that I felt. It's semi-embarrassing that I didn't know prior to being in the position that I was in what a great facility we have practically in our backyard here in Indianapolis. I was a little scared to even get on the internet and look into things and once I did and realized the caliber of the doctor that I had that was performing my surgery, I mean the fact that a hospital here in Indianapolis could acquire such talent and just the, the, the manner that he had with me when I first met with him. He, I remember just sobbing in his office and saying, you know, I have two kids, am I gonna be okay? And he rolled his chair over to me, held my hand and said, I do this every day, you're gonna be okay. And for me, I was just like, okay, that's all I needed to hear. I'll never forget that feeling, just the comfort of knowing that I was in the right hands and that he was gonna take care of me. And I just, it literally, I felt, I told my husband, I felt like a weight was just like lifted off my shoulders. Growing up, I feel like my family was very giving in terms of um, their time, and that's just something, my grandparents especially, they are very involved with their community and all the things that they do. Um, that's just kind of the way I was raised. So thinking, you know, that we are so grateful for my health and for the care that I receive. We were able to be able to do something for us to give back and just a way to say thank you. And because of having the surgery that I had and being able to heal so quickly and um, get through that process. Absolutely, it's definitely um, you know, part of the healing process, being able to give back and just show your gratitude.